So guys, for the first method, you wanna head over to search and type in services. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna click on any service one time and then click on W on your keyboard. We're gonna find Windows updates. We're gonna scroll down till we find Windows updates. Here it is, you wanna double click on it. Make sure you have the startup type on disabled and then click on stop, which will now make the service status stopped and then click on okay. And then once you've done that, we're now gonna head over to search again and type in File Explorer. Click on it. And then once you're on this on the left hand side, you wanna scroll down and then click on this PC. Now you wanna find the drive where you have Windows installed on. Let's go down the Windows logo on it. You wanna double click on that drive and then click on Windows. We're now gonna find a folder called Software Distribution. We're gonna scroll down till we find Software Distribution. Here it is, double click on this folder. And then once you're on this, there's gonna be three folders that we're gonna delete. Data Store, Download and Temp. You might not have temp though, but if you do, we're gonna delete that as well. So just delete all these folders. If this comes up, you're gonna click on do this full current items and then continue. If it says this action can't be completed, you're gonna tick this do this full current items and then click on skip. If some files or some folders remain, that's fine. And then once you've done that, we're now gonna head over to search again and type in services. And then once you're on services, you wanna find Windows Update again, double click on it. Change the startup type to automatic and then click on OK. Double click on it again and then click on start. Which will now make the service status running and then click on OK. See if that works for you. If that's still not working for the second method, you wanna head over to search and type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna click on other troubleshooters. Now you wanna find Windows Update. Click on run. And now this will come up. Wait for this to load. If you get this, you want to click on next. Wait for this to load. If it detects anything, it will try to fix it for you. For the next method, you want to head over to search and type in turn Windows features on or off. Click on it. And now this will come up. Make sure you have Net Framework 3.5 ticked. You want to tick this and then click on OK. It's now going to add it. Wait for this to load. If you get this, you want to select let Windows update down on the files for you. Wait for this to load. You didn't want to install this. See if that works for you. If that's still not working, for the next method, you wanna head over to search and type in CMD. Now, you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you run this, we're gonna type in SFC space forward slash scan now, and then click on enter. Then you want to run the scan. Wait for this to load. I'm gonna skip the video to when the scan will be completed. And then once that's been done, we're now gonna type in DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health click on enter you now want to run this scan as well wait for this to load and then once that's been done we're just going to restart our computer and then the problem should be fixed 